Hogan's gone Hollywood. And turned his back on all his Hulkamaniacs. Hey, Saxton, have you seen Hulk's bank account? It was brilliant. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW World's Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Eric Bischoff, representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. This man changed sports entertainment history on July 7th, 1996. Oh, that night broke my heart. Hulk Hogan turned his back on WCW, his Hulkamaniacs, and all of his allies to form the New World Order. The spotlight is shining bright. Nate is in the house. And introducing the champion from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds. He is the WCW World's Heavyweight Champion, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. A $25,000 robe. A lifestyle that most people could never imagine. It's tough being the nature boy. There's an old saying, if you want to be a star, you got to look like a star. Well, the nature boy more than looks like a star. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, we could possibly see the title change hands and a new champion crowned here whoa, tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you think you're putting the cart before the horse, Cole? The champ is the champ for a reason. That hasn't suddenly changed. Man, loving blows. Oh, man. Caught square by the haymaker. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. And Hogan gets stonewalled. Catches a punch. Great wherewithal on the counter. Sends into the corner. Oh, impressive counter. There's always great anticipation when these iconic figures collide. Corey, how does Ric Flair approach this matchup with Hulk Hogan? With confidence. Ric Flair is not intimidated by anyone, even the almighty Hulkster. 
Flair needs to stay on the targeted attacks to the leg and the knee. Because if Hogan can't put weight on his legs, he can't summon his strength. If Flair can do that, it means Hogan will not be able to use his power for slams or get the force he needs to execute his famous leg drop. We know Flair will stop at nothing to defeat Hogan. And yeah, remember, diamonds are forever, and so is Ric Flair. Face gouge! Oh, God! Big reversal from the Hulkster. Oh, brutal forearm. Uh-oh. Headbutt! The stomp in every single part of his body. He went right into that turnbuckle. Knee to the gut. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Holding the shoulder hostage now. Ooh, man. Now oh, trampling the opposition. The challenger eating up some damage. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. Now a big swing of momentum against Hogan. Hulkster's getting carved and dissected. to break. Cover by the champ. One, two. Oh, a two count and a kick out again. Holy moly, how? Woo. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Making that shoulder vulnerable. Just look at Ric Flair go. Nate's out here showing his wrestling acumen. Right back in. Side slam. Ooh. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Bang! Elbow drop. <laughs> Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power. Side slam. around here. Tough spot for Nate. Hogan's offense gets foiled. Flair finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Hogan is feeling it now. These Hulkamaniacs can feel the end. There's a slam. We know what comes next. The leg drop. We can have a new champion. The cover. chapter in this title's legacy begins here. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more.